Commodity Classic is always a very important show for us uh, because we are able to connect directly with growers. There's such a, a great influx of farmer growers from across North America uh, that show up at this show uh, that are eager and hungry for information um, and that we can have those conversations. And there's nothing better than watching um, two growers connect in your booth and really you're just facilitating the conversation. It's a ton of fun. Commodity Classic gives us an opportunity to really bring to life a lot of what we do in the field to growers and there's some really fantastic growers that we can interact with here. Um, I see a lot of really good questions that come from the growers and we can kind of talk through what's going on in their field. Another component of what we do here at the Commodity Classic is we bring some of those in-field experiences to the grower. Our Grow More Experience sites are um, essentially demonstrations where we can take new products like Cruiser Max Apex and products like Tendovo herbicide and help demonstrate how they deliver those best agronomic practices that are so critical to achieving and getting that greater yield and getting that return on investment. We can showcase that here at the Commodity Classic in order to help growers understand what that new technology is that Syngenta has to offer. You know, 2023 in Orlando is gonna be a fantastic opportunity for people to not only engage with the input folks that are here with the crop protection manufacturers, the equipment resellers, but also to network with other growers. I think the networking is an incredibly important part of what the Commodity Classic has to offer. Just being able to hear from people from across the world is what really gets me excited about being here. I would say come for the people. We always, you know, we always say that our greatest asset is people. Uh, some of the best ways to learn is to connect with other people. Uh, what a great opportunity to see and understand how people are farming in different areas of the world, uh, how they're using different solutions and, and kind of coming together in one place.